students and friends, beginners and learners. My name is Srinivas, 20 years experience in physics faculty, worked in various reputed organizations at NEED, J, Main and Advanced streams. Most of the students feel physics like a devil. In fact, it's not right. By holding fundamentals in their fingertips and applying at right places with right thinking, we can do wonders. It becomes like a cakewalk in the park. It's not at all a rocket science. Let me show you an example. Here, a tap is at a height of 20 meters from the ground, right? Which delivers or which drops, ball drops at regular time intervals, such that when first drop strikes the ground, sixth one is about to leave the tap. Now the question is to find heights of respect to drops from the ground, right? Here, all drops are falling at regular time intervals, means the time interval between 6th and 5th, or 5th and 4th, or 4th and 3rd, or 3rd and 2nd, or 2nd and 1st, remains same. Let it be t seconds. Okay? Let it be t seconds. So, here, question is to find heights of respect to drops from the ground. How to solve this numerical? Very simple, by using one fundamental. Recap that fundamental. What is that fundamental? We know that the distance covered by any body which moves with the uniform acceleration in n second is given by Sn equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1. Sn equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1. Right here, these drops are falling with zero initial velocity. See here, at the location of or at the site of tap, what is the Initial velocity of each drop 0. So here u0, u0. A becomes minus y because suppose tap is our reference level. From this reference level, all drops are falling vertically. Therefore, A becomes minus g. A becomes minus g. So therefore, Sn equal to 0 plus minus g by 2 into 2n minus 1. Right? Mod Sn is given by mod Sn is given by here plus or minus 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 g becomes plus g and taking modulus so g by g by 2 into g by 2 into 2n minus 1 right here g is constant 2 also constant therefore Sn is proportional to 2n minus 1 implies Sn is proportional to 2n minus 1 so this is what distance covered in n second is directly proportional to 2n minus 1. Right? Okay. Now, this formula not only valid for successive seconds. This is also valid for successive equal time intervals, however small or large these intervals may. See here, what is the time interval between successive drops here? That is constant. Let it be t seconds. Here also t seconds, t seconds, t seconds, t seconds. T seconds. So this formula not only valid for sexu seconds, also valid for sexu equal time intervals, however small or large intervals may be. Okay. Now only thing is that body must move with uniform acceleration. So here all are accelerating uniformly because of gravity. So we can apply without any hesitation this formula. Alright. Now S1 is to S2 is to S3 is to S4 is to S5 up to so on is equal to S1 means distance covered in first second for example replace n with 1 that is 2 into 1 minus 1 that is 1 is 2 S2 distance covered in second second replace n by writing 2 that is 2 to 4 minus 1 3 is 2 S3 means Distance covered in third second. Replace n with three. That is two three is six minus one. Five. S four. Two four j eight minus one seven. Right is two. S five. Two five j ten minus one. That is nine. Right. One plus three plus five plus seven plus nine. That is twenty five parts. How many parts here? One three five seven nine. Add all these parts 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, 25 parts. Alright? Means here we are coming to first drop. 
in first t seconds it covers one part out of total 25 parts in next t seconds same drop covers three parts out of 25 parts in next t seconds it covers five parts out of 25 parts in next t seconds seven parts in the last t seconds same drop covers nine parts out of total 25 parts so in its entire motion first drop covers 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 that is 25 parts out of 25 parts right that is the mean that is the mean now coming to first drop drop 1 drop 1 now the distance covered by first drop from the tap is given by st st distance from the tap from the tap is given by see how many parts it covers 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 out of 25 of of 20 meters am i right of 20 meters right that is s1 equal st equal to 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 25 by 25 cancels we left with 20 meters 20 meter, right? So, ST, distance covered by first drop from the tap is given by 20 meter, right? Now, from the ground, that is distance from the ground, HG, distance from the ground means height of the tap minus distance covered, that is 20 minus 20, that is 20 minus 20 is called 0 meter. So, what is the height of the drop from the ground means 0 means just strikes the ground that is the mean now coming to drop 2 drop 2 second drop see this is the second drop now see the ratio here it covers 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 right that is 1 is to 3 is to 5 is to 7 means in first t seconds it covers 1 out of 25 in next t seconds it covers Three parts out of twenty-five. Next to t seconds, five parts out of twenty-five. Here, seven out of twenty-five. So, what is the distance covered by second drop from the tap means that is one plus three plus five plus seven. That is one plus three plus five plus seven out of twenty-five. Fall into twenty meters of twenty meters, right? Now, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 5, 9, 9 plus 7, 9 plus 7, that is 16. 16 into 20 by 25 means 4 by 5, that is 16 into 4 by 5, 4 by 5, right? 16 into 4, 64, 64 by 5, that is ST equal to 64 by 5 means 1.8 meters. Am I right? This is the height of second drop. Sorry, this is the distance covered by second drop from the tap. So, this is the distance of second drop from the tap. This is the distance covered by second drop from the tap. Now, what is this distance? That is 12.8 meter. Now, what is, the, what is the height of the second drop from the ground means 20 minus distance covered. That is S G height of second drop from the ground means height of the tap minus distance covered by the drop. That is 20 minus 20, 12.8. That is 20 minus 12.8. That is 7.2 meters. 7.2. 7.2 meters. Okay. Now coming to drop 3. Drop 3. Third drop. See this is the third drop. Now take the ratio here. It covers 1 is to 3 is to 5. Now total parts 1 plus 3 plus 5. 1 plus 3 plus 5. 1 is to 3 is to 5. So distance covered by third drop from the tap is given by 1 plus 3 plus 5, see 1 plus 3 plus 5, that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 out of 25 parts 
of total distance 20 meters right that is 1 plus 3 4 plus 5 9 9 into 4 by 5 that is 9 into 4 by 5 36 by 5 right so ht is given by drop 3 distance covered by drop 3 from the tap t is given by ht equal to what is ht here uh, that is 36 by 5 means 7.2 meters 7 point right now coming to height of the third drop from the ground see this was third drop uh, drop that is uh, the distance covered by third drop from the tap is given by what is that distance 7.2 meters 7.2 this is the distance covered by third one from the tap now what is the height this is the height of the third drop from the ground so how will you get means 20 minus 7 point that is distance or height of the third drop from the ground is given by height of the tap minus distance covered 7 point 7 point that is that is 12.8 meter 12.8 meter so that's it now coming to drop 3 Drop four, three over now. Drop four. Drop number four somewhere here. Drop number four. So drop number four. Now see the ratio of distance here. One is to three. That is one plus three out of twenty-five parts. One is to three only. In the first t seconds it covers one part out of twenty-five. Next t seconds it covers three parts out of twenty-five. So one plus three only. So, distance covered by fourth drop from the tap is given by 1 plus 3 out of 25 parts of total of total distance 20 meters. 20 meters. Right? That is 4 into 4 by 5. 4 into 4 by 5 means that is 16 by 5. So, ST is given by 3.5. 2 meters, 3.2 meters, right? Okay, this is the distance caught by the fourth drop from the tap. Now, what is the height of C? This is what distance caught by fourth drop from the tap, that is 3.2 meters. Now, what is the height of this fourth one from the ground means this is the height. How will you get height of the tap minus the distance covered, that is 20 minus 3.2. So, this height of the fourth drop from the ground is given by 20 minus 3 point that is 16.8 meter. 16.8, right? Now, coming to fifth one, see drop number 5. Drop number 5. This is the drop number 5. Now, what is the distance here? One part out of 25 parts. See, 1 is 2. 1 is means 1.1 1 .1, that is 1 part out of 25 parts that is distance called by fifth one from the tap is given by 1 out of 25 parts of total distance 20 meters total distance 20 meters that is 20 by 25 that is 4 by 5 means 0 0.8 0 0.8 meter 0 0.8 meter right now what is the height of fifth drop from the ground this is the height. See, this is what distance covered by distance covered by fifth one. What is the distance? 0.8 meter. 0.8 meter. 0.8 meter. Right? Okay. Now, what is the height from the ground? Means 20 minus 0.8. This is the height. This is the height. That is 20 minus 0.8. So, yes, G. Height of the fifth one from the ground is given by 20 minus 0.8. That is 19.2 meter. Now coming to drop number 6. Drop number 6. Not at all moved any distance. Just drop. Means distance covered. 0 parts out of 25 parts. So distance covered SP 
distance distance covered from the tap is given by zero parts out of twenty five whole into twenty whole into twenty minute. That is zero. Now what is the height of six one from the ground means height of the tap minus the distance covered. So no distance covered. That is S G is given by twenty minus height of the tap minus distance covered is zero. 20 minus 0, that is 20 meter. Right? This is the height of sixth one. So this is the explanation. This is the explanation. Okay. If you really impressed and coincides with my words, you can subscribe to my channel C Level Physics. Share my videos. Comment on my videos. Choice yours.